Today we're going to do 2011 GCEO level physics practical. So are you ready? Let's start preparing. The question here says that you are provided with a sample solid P. This is sample solid P in a stopper test tube. And when P is added to water, it dissolves. As this is an endothermic process, heat energy is removed from the water and this causes the temperature of the solution to fall. You will add P to water and as P gradually dissolves, the temperature of the resulting solution will fall. However, while P is dissolving, the cooling solution absorbs heat energy from its surroundings. This prevents the solution from reaching its true minimum temperature. And it goes on to say you can estimate what the true minimum temperature would have been if P had dissolved instantaneously by using a graph. And you're going to use the apparatus in figure 1.1 which had already been set up for you which is this whole thing here. And it goes on to say to measure the variation in the temperature of a sample of water at time intervals before and after a known mass of P is added to the water. The experiment is performed in a styrofoam cup. Here's the styrofoam cup which is placed inside a second styrofoam cup as shown in figure 1.1. The second cup is held using a retort stand and clamp to prevent it from falling over. Record below the mass of your sample of P and you will find this written on the side of your stopper test tube. Over here is written 20 gram. So the mass of P uses 20 gram. 20.0 gram. Follow the following instruction below to determine the maximum temperature change when a known mass of P dissolved in water. All temperatures should be recorded to the nearest 0.5 degrees Celsius. Over here is 0.5 degrees Celsius and let me write over here at the temperature in pencil 0.5 degrees Celsius. So that I know to always remember that the decimal place is one decimal and it's only at 0.5 degrees Celsius. It goes on to say that stir the water, uh, it goes on to say fill half Fill half a 250 cm cube of beaker with water, measure the temperature of this water and if necessary, use the hot or cold water provided to adjust the temperature of the water in your beaker so that it is between 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to measure the water over here and it is stated as this is around 25 degrees Celsius, so I would stay, I will read, I will let it be at 25 degrees Celsius here. Use a 50 cm cube measuring cylinder. This is a 50 cm cube measuring cylinder. And then to transfer 50 cm cube of this water into your styrofoam cup. So, first of all, over here, since the temperature here, let me read again. Uh, 25 and it goes all the way up to 26 so my temperature at 0 is 26 here but I have to pour 50 cm cube over into the 50 ml of measuring cylinder so let me pour here 50 ml note about the meniscus reading make sure that it's at eye level and if overflow please turn it back okay it's 50 cm cube I'm going to transfer this 50 cm cube into the styrofoam cup stir the water in the styrofoam cup with the thermometer and measure the temperature. Temperature is read as 25, 25, 26 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to write down at zero is 26. 